oh look it's just after 10 o'clock here in the uk we are as live as live can be hello there i hope you can hear me all right it's mr duncan live on a wednesday night yes it is just after 10 o'clock at night all of my neighbors have gone to bed they are all now lying in their beds dreaming about something nice and here i am still awake talking to the world on youtube so i hope you are well and happy and <laughs> I hope you feel great today. Hi, everybody. It's Mr. Duncan in England. That's me. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy? I really, really hope so. <laughs> Did you miss me last weekend? Oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't with you last weekend. I had a very busy weekend last weekend. It was so busy. Uh, besides trying to set my new computer in my new studio setup i had a lot of work to do during the weekend and also mr steve was appearing in a concert as well so i went along to see mr steve perform on stage and that was last sunday and of course usually on sunday i am here live on youtube and don't forget this coming sunday i will be live once again on youtube i will be live from two o'clock uk time yes it's true i will be back this sunday so i hope you will join me then some good news to start with yes let's have some good news shall we because to be honest with you a lot of the news these days seems to be bad news so let's have some good news first of all some very good news i have managed to get my new computer working everything is set up it's all ready for sunday so on sunday i will for the first time stream live across the internet using my new computer and can i say once again a big thank you to all those who helped who made contributions and the final figure do you want to know how much my new computer has cost in total do you really want to know i might tell tell you a little bit later on i might tell you later but let's just say it is a lot a lot of money <laughs> so thanks for your help and also thanks to mr steve for giving me some help as well and of course thanks to me because i also <laughs> had to put some money forward as well to get the new computer so there is some good news the new computer is now up and running all of the cameras are connected and it will be there live on sunday so i really do hope you can join me this coming sunday there are lots of people already on the live chat oh my goodness i can't believe how many people are joining me already wow thank you very much for joining me today on the live chat ramiro is here hello ramiro thanks for joining apparently ramiro is leaving soon oh oh i thought you were going to stay for the whole live stream belarusia is here belarusia hello to you yes i am back did you miss me last weekend i wasn't here i had lots of things to do last weekend now it is very rare that i miss my live stream on a sunday it's very rare so if i do it i normally have a very good reason so thanks for joining me all the way from Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Thank you, Belarusia. Borja is here as well. Thanks a lot. And Ovigan is watching in Turkey. Hello to you. I've been to Turkey twice. Yes, I have actually visited your country. Although I didn't go to Istanbul where are you on sunday i was waiting yes as i just explained last sunday i wasn't here i did try to tell everyone 
but maybe you didn't get my message but yes I had quite a few things to do last weekend including setting up my new computer so that's one of the big jobs that I've been doing this week in fact I'm still doing it now so I'm having to back up all of the files from my old computer and let's just say there are lots and lots of files that need backing up and saving quite a few today is a special day in Buenos Aires truck drivers are protesting against the government oh I see so there are some some people protesting against the government in Buenos Aires mm, I have a feeling that might be featured later on the news I will have a look later on hello from France Patricia is here hello Patricia thanks for joining me it's late and live now do you like these live streams do you like these live streams that are on very late so if you do like them uh, I will probably do more if you want to watch more and more of them we will see what happens good evening from Boston in the UK says Briska hello Briska thanks for joining me I don't know if you are a regular viewer but you are welcome all the same good afternoon from Egypt oh hello from Egypt and also hello to Long Nguyen as well ah oh, nice to see you back another one of my regular viewers Mohammed Chakuri says we missed you we really are accustomed to following your streaming video well as I mentioned earlier there is some good news I will be with you on Sunday this Sunday I'm back and my new computer is working very well so I will reveal that on Sunday at the moment I am streaming to you on my mobile phone so this isn't my new computer this is my mobile phone that I'm using at the moment Patricia says it's now after 11 o'clock in France yes I think in France you are one hour ahead I think so I hope everything is is perfectly working I hope it is in w perfect working order yes my computer my new computer is working very well thank you very much for asking hello Catherine Foggs is here hello Catherine thanks for joining me a big bonjour to you as well Stefano is here also Ahmed and Swan Swan hello there nice to see you back again is it cold in your town please tell me well I will give you a clue because just before I started my live stream I was outside collecting some firewood so I'm bringing the firewood into the house so it will dry out and the reason why I'm doing it is because next week here in the UK the weather is going to get very very cold apparently it's going to be freezing next week so I'm getting the firewood into the house and hopefully I will stay nice and warm but apparently next week here in the UK it's going to get very cold apparently there is a lot of very cold air coming in from the east that is what is happening next week so yes it is going to get very cold I think next week even during the day it will be around about one or maybe zero degrees <gasps> oh my goodness that is very cold and of course we might get some snow as well so we will see what happens next week we might get some snow who knows thank you very much for all of your lovely messages by the way it was it was mr steve's birthday last week and I'm, I'm going to show you one of the cards that mr steve got here we go 
so this is a card that mr steve received last week do you like it look at that isn't that cute <laughs> apparently happiness is realizing that it's saturday so apparently happiness is realizing that it is saturday in other words you are lying in bed and then your alarm clock makes a very loud noise you wake up and you think you have to go to work but in fact you don't and we all know that that is a very nice feeling indeed in fact it makes me feel very happy so there it is there is a card that mr steve received last week and it says <laughs> happiness is realizing that it's saturday or the weekend of course so there is nothing nicer than waking up on a saturday morning when you realize that you don't have to go to work of course some people do some people do have to go to work at the weekend let's have a look at the live chat hello from poland alec ob says hello from poland very nice hi mr duncan how's it going it's nice to see you again thank you francisco it's going okay but i am incredibly busy at the moment even though i'm not doing any live streams behind the scenes i am very busy very busy indeed saviero is here saviero hello watching in italy also we have stefano who is watching in italy as well <laughs> apparently serbia is here as well isn't that nice <laughs> i think you could have told me in a nicer way though i don't know why the connection on my on my stream keeps breaking i don't know why how annoying i am very happy for you thank you ahmed yes italy is watching why do you wear the ice cap what is the weather oh it's very cold outside at the moment that's why i'm wearing my hat because i've just been outside to bring in some firewood so that's the reason why swan says yes it's after 11 o'clock here so now it is coming up to 11 15 in france and here in the uk it is coming up to 10 15. <laughs> how old are you mr duncan a lot of people seem very interested in my age well let's just say that i'm not as old as my teeth but i'm older than my hair how's that yes i love them i don't know what 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 do you love please tell me what you love good afternoon mr duncan i am from peru oh of course because in peru it's afternoon in peru yes you are right in the usa ahmed isaac is watching oh hello there i hope you're having a good day there in the usa where is mr steve says pitage that is a very good question mr steve isn't here at the moment he's out now last weekend he appeared in a show and tonight he's gone to to rehearse for yet another show i don't know why he does it mr steve keeps so busy so tonight he is rehearsing for another show and he's also gone to see one of his friends tonight who has just come out of hospital so he's doing a lot of things tonight so sadly we probably won't see mr steve tonight what a shame lagel says it's really good to see you mr duncan i missed your streams well here i am now live on a wednesday night it is very late at the moment here in the uk everyone has gone to bed but i'm still up i'm still awake talking to you live in the night ahmed says hello mr duncan last month i was not able to watch your live streams but 
I don't miss you oh I don't miss your live streams because I can watch them later on and you can't imagine how much I enjoy you and mr. Steve yes a lot of people have made comments about how much they enjoy they really do enjoy watching mr. Steve and also myself I am happy to hear your good news you are welcome then you realize that you've been you've been overflowing with your feelings and your attempts I don't know I don't know what that means to dig deeper and understand that some people as well as things are really too dumb to take them seriously uh, yes well some things in life should never be taken too seriously in fact some people say that life shouldn't be taken too seriously especially at the moment with all of the crazy things happening around the world hello mr duncan it's nicole jeffrey hello nicole thank you for joining me i hope you can see me and i hope you can hear me okay because the connection tonight isn't very good on youtube i don't know why but the connection seems to have a few problems mr duncan here in peru it is very cold and cloudy yes as i mentioned earlier it looks as if we are going to have a lot of very cold arctic weather next week so yes i think it's going to get very cold now in finland it is minus 19 degrees it's 19 below zero <gasps> oh my goodness thank you Ahmed for that I hope you are staying warm in Finland yes I know it can get very cold there from time to time Stefano is going oh okay then Stefano see you later hopefully see you on Sunday yeah hello teacher is that a new t-shirt you're wearing I haven't seen it before this t-shirt is very old <laughs> I, I bought this t-shirt in I think it was 1998 it's true so this t-shirt is actually 20 years old it doesn't look like it but it is over 20 years old this t-shirt and I bought it when I was on holiday in Malaysia a place called Penang in fact you might be able to see it on the on the back let me just turn around I'm going to turn around and show you the back of the shirt <laughs> I don't know if you could see that but yes this was a t-shirt that I bought from one of my holidays in Malaysia Awad says I miss you oh that's very sweet of you to say well I'm back and I am back on Sunday as well and that's one of the reasons why I'm here to let you know that I am back with you on Sunday happy birthday in advance I hope you have happiness well it's not my birthday my birthday isn't until August so my birthday is still a long way off but it was Mr. Steve's birthday last week and we had a lovely time as well a warm hello from frozen Latvia thank you Janice Pittens thank you and apparently it is frozen at the moment in Latvia hello from Austria May L Gosen says hello thank you May and it's lovely to see you and thank you very much for your messages on Facebook as well it's always lovely lovely to hear from you on Facebook and of course I do have a Facebook page if you want to follow me there are a lot of people who have posted fake Facebook pages pretending to be me can you believe it but there is only one mr. Duncan 
and there is only one mr duncan facebook page the address is underneath this video so my facebook page is underneath this video you can find it in the list when will you live stream again i will be back with you on sunday my usual time sunday 2 p.m uk time so a little earlier than today <laughs> how far is the place of mr steve's rehearsal from here uh from here to the place where mr steve is rehearsing it is around about 40 minutes 40 minutes by car can you tell me a little bit more about the mikado was mr steve nervous before his performance well we will be talking more about that on Sunday because of course on Sunday Mr. Steve will be here with me so yes Mr. Steve will be here and he will be talking all about the show that he was in last week Aline is here love you Mr. Duncan you are funny thank you Aline Aline Oliveira thank you very much for that hello Mr. Duncan from William William is watching at the moment in Colombia. Wow. So many people around the world watching. Paolo. Hello, Paolo. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I've been following you for a long time in the past, but I never left a comment. I would like to say to you, hello, and thank you for all you do. I hope you read my message from Paolo in Italy. Thank you, Paolo, and it's lovely to hear from you of course you can write to me to my email address and as i mentioned earlier you can follow me on facebook as well the address is underneath this live stream video apparently it's very cold in egypt at the moment yes well in certain parts of the middle east they've they've been having can you believe it they've actually had snow over the past few weeks a lot of snow Damien is here hello Damien Damien Trevis says hello to me oh to me thank you very much and a big hello to you as well does your new computer work well yes it does uh, I'm still busy in my studio I, I'm just saving all of the old files from my old computer so from my previous computer i am now taking all of the files out and i didn't i didn't actually realize i didn't realize how long it would take hello mr duncan says alan leung alan leung thank you very much for that i like the painting behind you oh really yes this is a lovely lovely painting do you like it there it is <laughs> it's some sheep and they are sitting in a field some of them are sitting down and some of them are standing so the ones in the distance are all sitting down and the ones in the foreground are standing up and there you can see the moon so this particular painting is called sheep by moonlight <laughs> so i'm glad you like that yes it is a lovely painting yes I, I also like this painting very much it always makes me happy when i see it mohammed chakawi says you deserve to be followed by millions of people well i i, I wish someone could would tell youtube i wish someone would tell youtube about that it's a wonderful painting thank you very much what does scarf mean scarf a scarf is something you put around your neck to keep your neck warm normally you wear it in the winter what would you prefer winter or summer if i had a choice i think i would prefer summer but to be honest i really do like spring and at the moment here in the uk we are starting to approach spring yes 
So I think one of my most favourite times of the year must be spring, followed by summer. And of course, I do quite like winter as well, especially when it snows. Is it millions of people or million people? You can say millions, millions of people should be watching Mr. Duncan. <laughs> Thank you very much for your support. Sara says, hey, how are you? I'm from Syria. A big hello to you, Sara, watching at the moment in Syria. Thank you, William. William Lopez. Thank you very much for your message again. Apparently, the the summer in Egypt was amazing yes i love summer i must admit summer is quite nice now one or two people have written to me asking could you recommend a tv show or something that i can watch now i think the thing that i'm about to show you is available on youtube i think it is and this is something that i've shown before this is a program, a TV show called Mind Your Language, and it is a very famous TV show. It, it was made a long time ago in the 1980s. Can you believe it? In fact, it was made in the late 1970s and early 1980s. And there it is. Mind Your Language, a very funny program. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because this program is all about people who are learning English as a second language. And there are some episodes, some episodes of this program on YouTube. Yes. So try to look out for that. Mind your language. It is a very funny program. A lot of people like it. Do you want to see one of the presents that Mr. Steve got last week? OK, here is one of the gifts. I'm not going to show you it completely. Aline says, please say hi to Brazil. Hello to Brazil and everyone watching right now. Here it is. This is a little present that Mr. Steve received last week. Now, I won't show it to you properly. I will give you a little hint. Can you see? There it is. <laughs> there it is. So can you tell what it is? Yes, it is a picture frame, a picture frame. But what is in the frame? What is it? <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's a photograph. It's a very lovely photograph as well. So I might show this to you on Sunday. So there it is. One of Mr. Steve's presents. In fact, this was from his sister. But I will show you what is in the frame on Sunday. Mm. Something else I will be showing you on Sunday because a lot of people ask Mr. Duncan, when will you do some more cooking now <laughs> i am hoping to do a little bit of cooking on sunday and and this is something to give you a clue this is a clue as to what i am doing on sunday there it is can you see it there it is is it clear so there is something that i might be using on sunday look at that there it is on Sunday can you see it but what is it I will show you what it is used for on Sunday because a lot of people seem to like watching me cook did you see mr. Steve cooking curry the other week oh <gasps> yes in fact can I just be honest with you mr. Steve is a much better cook than me it's true. 
<sighs> did you try the meditation last week now apparently mr. Steve is going to go to the to one of the local yoga classes yes apparently mr. Steve is going to do some yoga it's true used to make cake is this used to make cake oh this no I won't be making a cake I won't be making a cake but it is something to eat it is something that you can eat you'll do popcorn mr. Duncan no I won't be doing popcorn unfortunately please say hello to Syria Bayan hello Bayan Bayan says please say hello to Syria hi Syria I know I have lots of people watching there at the moment and I send to you my best wishes 31 minutes I've been on already Wow the time goes so fast so why am I wearing my hat well I've just been outside just before starting my live stream I went outside to bring in some firewood you can also call this a log log in fact the word log has many meanings it does so log can also mean to record something you record information you write something down and you use the thing that you have written down for information so you log something quite often you will log the time when something happens so you might have a log to show when people sign in or when people arrive for work or if something happens out of the ordinary you will write it down you will put it in the log Mm. it is now 10 35 here in the UK yes Patricia says yes you can sleep like a log it's true if you sleep like a log it means that you sleep very well you have a very deep sleep a very deep sleep indeed I'm getting so much rubbish coming through on my phone don't you hate it when that happens when you're trying to do something on your phone and then lots of notifications start coming up and most of it is junk junk really the time flies quickly with you I mean the time is running out yes I always think the time goes very fast but don't worry because on Sunday I am with you for two two hours on Sunday can you believe it so I hope you will join me on Sunday because I will be here for two hours and don't forget mr. Steve will be here as well what about your birds mr. Duncan are they freezing outside well you don't have to worry about the birds because I'm keeping them well fed they are very healthy and very excited because spring is coming and of course during the springtime many of the birds will mate and they will lay their eggs <laughs> please mr. Duncan make a voice or make a noise by your nose when you sleep oh I see do you mean snore snore <laughs> snore it's a great word we love you from Syria thank you very much once again Sarah I can tell that Sarah is very excited <laughs> yes yes the sound that you make when you are asleep some people make it not everyone some people apparently I snore apparently I mean I don't realize it because I'm asleep you see so I don't know that I snore mr. Duncan please may you change the plates 
change the place oh do you mean here where I'm standing at the moment well I can't because my my camera is fixed <laughs> so I can't move around at the moment I can do this I can go this way slightly you see there we go I'm moving now <laughs> so I'm moving now to my right is that better there we go that's different I can go a bit further if you want. There we go. Look at that. There we go. That's different. <laughs> Apparently in Kurdistan. I don't believe it. That's incredible. Hidayat says it is 1.35 in the morning in Kurdistan. Oh my goodness. That is so late. And and you've decided to stay up just for me. To watch me on the internet isn't that lovely <laughs> what's the difference between vendor and seller they are basically the same thing so a vendor is normally a person who sells things normally from a specific place like a shop so a vendor so maybe a newspaper vendor uh, but of course you can use seller as well so a person who sells newspapers is a newspaper seller and they can also be described as a newspaper vendor 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 just means to serve to give so you can find maybe automatic machines that will give you drinks or food and we call those vending machines vending machines so vending is just to supply and give you need a plant behind you for decoration do you know what I don't have any plants in this room I really should have a nice flower in here yes a plant maybe maybe in the corner behind me what do you think do you think there should be a plant there look at that look at that corner now I think that corner should definitely have a plant standing there yes I think you're right I think <laughs> I, I think that corner definitely needs a plant vendor comes from the verb vendre in French yes well a lot of English words do originate in the French language not the most funny corner I must admit yes this corner isn't very funny <laughs> this is the empty corner big love from Gaza oh it's gone <laughs> and it's 1240 and I joined you my name is Abdul Abdul Hab apparently in Sao Paulo Sao Paulo in Brazil it is 26 degrees oh I'm so jealous very jealous I wish it was 26 degrees here apparently it's going to be freezing next week mr. Duncan I'm going to go to London and I can't speak English M maybe I have some advice to improve my English language fluency yes I think so well it, it all depends when you are coming here so if you are not visiting here for a few months maybe you're not coming here for a while so maybe you still have some time to improve your English so maybe the problem is that you don't know enough words or maybe you feel shy to speak because a lot of people are very shy when it comes to speaking another language <laughs> I cannot open my eyes anymore I should go to bed yes you should you should because it's very late what does it mean Trump and as you know it is the name of the president of the USA yes the word Trump can be used in many ways for example Trump means to to win or to beat someone so you you get a better outcome than someone else or you beat someone you win so maybe in a race you do something better than the other person you trump them you trump them 
Another word you can use is outdo. So if you outdo someone, it means you trump them. Also, the, the, the word trump. <laughs> this is very rude, by the way. The thing I'm about to say is very rude. The word trump in British English means fart. <laughs> yes so in British English the word Trump means fart it's true <laughs> I'm not joking I love you Mr Duncan because you are funny and cool you have a lot of attitudes similar to Egyptian people thank you very much for that well I believe that sometimes you have to be happy life is to be enjoyed that's what I think anyway so if you are happy then I, I think that you find that the day goes much nicer <laughs> I try to be optimistic even when things are going wrong what is the right preposition I work I work you can say that I work in radio I work in radio so that means your profession is in broadcasting so normally broadcasting through the radio so we can say that I'm in radio I'm in radio so funny Mr Duncan thank you very much for that what is the thing called on your head this is my hat my woolly hat so this is made of wool boing wool boing so my hat is made of wool and it keeps my head very warm so yes this is a hat another word for this is beanie beanie I hope I'm pronouncing that clearly beanie so you can actually call this type of hat beanie <laughs> it's a beanie hat Mr Duncan you look so nice tonight thank you very much I always try my best <laughs> of course I've got my reading glasses on tonight I'm wearing my reading glasses because sometimes I can't see the writing on the screen because it's so small this is Simone hello Simone you're amazing thanks for all of your lessons you are welcome no problem you are always so happy yes of course of course yes you always have to be happy you try to be happy even when things are going wrong in fact I made a lesson all about happy and sad maybe you have seen it maybe you haven't <laughs> so Donald Trump's last name is the same as fart yes it's true Mr Duncan why don't you have Instagram I do have Instagram I am on Instagram I will help you develop YouTube channel for example YouTube cat range I don't know what that means thank you very much for that but yes I am on I am on Instagram your hat is called a bonnet not really no a bonnet normally goes around your face as well so when we say bonnet the bonnet normally covers your face and quite often it will tie underneath your chin so a bonnet normally goes around your face and normally you can tie it under your chin quite often babies babies and young children will wear a bonnet of course a bonnet can be a general term for hat do you think that England sp speaks the same English that Shakespeare spoke someday? Well, Shakespeare was around a long time ago, 600 years ago. So English has changed a lot. But of course, a lot of people still like Shakespeare. And on Sunday, Mr. Steve will be reading some Shakespeare to you all on Sunday. we use a bonnet at the swimming pool oh yes well when you swim you will put 
something on your head to protect your hair and also to keep the water out of your ears and we call that cap we call it a swimming cap swimming cap but this isn't for swimming this is this is not for swimming this is made this is made of wool it's very warm it keeps my brain warm your glasses are very handsome oh thank you very much these are my reading glasses <laughs> i have to read the very small writing you see the writing on the screen is very small and sometimes i can't see the writing so i have to wear my reading glasses good night all of you i am going now wish you have sweet dreams thank you very much one or two people are leaving now because it's very late where they are in fact it's very late here as well it's actually coming up to 10 minutes to 11 o'clock hello from brazil alexandre hello thanks a lot for saying hello oh klebson is here hello klebson how was mr steve's birthday it was very well it was very good it went super and mr steve got some nice presents including this <laughs> it's a photograph <laughs> it's it's very funny <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duncan. It's Klebson. Yes, thank you, Klebson. My new studio is coming OK. It's coming along quite well. In fact, I will be using it on Sunday. Yes, on Sunday, I will be here from 2 p.m. UK time. I heard English pronunciation used used to be really different in Shakespeare's time. Yes, many words have changed over 600 years the way in which we use words the way in which some words have disappeared completely what is the meaning of to have a go and have a bash if you have a bash it means you try you give it a try you have a go so you try something i will give it a bash so have you ever tried playing the piano no but I, I am very willing to give it a bash <laughs> to give it a try so yes it is a very loose term it means to try something to give it a bash I will try it I will give it a bash <laughs> good night from Seville oh Eleanor is going now thank you Eleanor see you later parting is such sweet sorrow but don't worry i will be back on sunday and maybe you will as well how to develop fluency in brazil it is very hard to find people to talk to well thank you art for that well one of the reasons why i do this is to give you a chance to listen to english being spoken like this as it happens naturally so that's why I like doing my live streams, you see. So listening is very important. But of course, it is very common for people not to have other people to practice with. But of course, you can always find other people who have a similar interest. Maybe you can use the Internet or maybe you can put a notice up somewhere and you can ask if there is anyone out there who has an interest in learning English could you please contact me so there you go you could start your own English group can you describe an object as handsome not really no you don't normally describe an object as handsome quite often it is uh, an animal you can describe a horse as handsome what a handsome horse it's a handsome beast <laughs> some people describe me as a handsome beast sometimes but not very often mr duncan here from my workplace i am watching you in colombia 
thank you sergio for that i am going in dun, dun, 10 minutes 10 minutes i am going please show us the photograph i will show you the photograph on sunday i can't show you everything now because then then there'll be no point coming on sunday you see so that's the reason why i'm doing that yes we call it teasing <sighs> mr duncan you are so naughty <laughs> i look very strange in this camera can you see i look i look very odd it looks like my nose my nose my nose is very big is my nose really that large is it i hope not <laughs> you are a great teacher i love you very much thank you sara you are very very welcome um are you drunk no i'm not drunk well the only thing that i'm drunk on is life because life is pretty cool swan says i saw your photographs on instagram together with some photos showing buttocks <laughs> uh, i don't think that is on my instagram somehow no i can i can tell you now that that is not on my instagram oh it's yes it's advertising it wasn't me <laughs> what are you saying there is it mr steve as a baby no the photograph isn't mr steve as a baby but i, I do have I have a photograph of Mr. Steve when he was a baby. <laughs> and he was so ugly. He was a really ugly baby. It's true. Madrid loves you. Thank you very much for that. For a foreign guy, which is easy or easier? American English or British English they are both as easy it really depends on what you want to learn but don't forget American English or British English they are the same they are still English so don't forget there is only one English language good morning from Indonesia it is so cloudy here very cloudy oh, but I hope it's warm there and of course I, I think at the moment in indonesia you are having a little bit of trouble with a volcano yes i saw the pictures earlier really mr duncan you are handsome thank you very much for that yes mr duncan listening is very important especially when you are learning i think that's what you wanted to say your nose is good enough thank you very much for that i think maybe this camera is making my nose look big <laughs> thank you mr duncan here is a chance to find people interesting in developing fluency yes of course there are many ways of contacting people who share a similar interest and of course if you have an interest in english if you are interested in learning english then of course you can find other people as well <laughs> mr duncan please speak like a cockney a cockney yeah hello my name's mr duncan and i come from london and, and I, 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 i've just been talking to the old uh er indoors er indoors the old trouble in strife the trouble in strife the wife but in a moment i'm going to go up the old apple and pears apple and pears stairs up the stairs <laughs> i prefer british english accent oh thank you very much patricia thank you so much i feel very lovely hearing you say that please don't leave us after eight minutes please go on well i would love to go on but it's coming up to 11 o'clock and i've been so busy today i've been doing all sorts of things including bringing in the firewood because apparently next week it's going to get very cold 
very cold indeed we might even get some snow I always tell that to my students there is only English that's it yes Simone you are right there is only one English language but there are many different ways of pronouncing or speaking and that involves accents normally accents sir how are you oh ts is here hello ts a big hello to you hello i hate the cockney accent really oh yes a lot of people don't like the cockney accent yeah hello my name's mr duncan and i come from london there is no one better than you to share and practice english frankly speaking oh thank you very much for that you are so lovely teacher i prefer the much wenlock accent <laughs> i'm not sure if there is a much wenlock accent i'm not sure may is going now thank you may and i hope to see you on sunday because i will be here this sunday yes everything is back to normal lots of people were saying mr duncan we missed you so much on sunday but don't worry i will be back on sunday once again from 2 p.m uk time so you can see me this sunday what is the meaning of up the ante if you up the ante it means you raise the stakes or you improve your game so you do something more vigorously or you do something where you put yourself into it more and more you up the ante you up the ante you raise the stakes you up your game <laughs> the most difficult accent i've ever heard is the one from the northern oh sorry southern around sussex yes there are many many different accents here in the uk and also in america as well in the united states there are many different types of accent and here in britain there are many different types of accent as well mr duncan give me some slack if you give someone some slack what does that mean if you give someone some slack it means you stop being so cruel to them or you leave them alone or you stop criticizing them you allow them to do something by themselves you give them more freedom you cut them some slack you allow them to do something without interference mr duncan i think i would like to see the snow but i wouldn't like to shovel it i know i know all about that i know all about shoveling the snow <laughs> amigos inglés says do you have a favorite word i have so many favorite words i think it's safe to say that i have so many favorite words in the english language in fact i i love them all i love all of the english words every single one every single one from the very small words like it and on to the very long words like anti de establishmentarianism <laughs> that's a very long word anti de establishmentarianism is one of the longest words in the english language i've invited my friend from south morocco to join us in this interesting live stream thank you leila for that i will be going very soon unfortunately i've been standing here for one hour already have you ever visited india says vishal i've never been to india never i've never been there i had some difficulty understanding the accent in windermere ah yes so that that is in the north you see so sometimes there might be some words that are 
pronounced in a different way not very clear hello to you from Colombia I am a big fan of you thank you Sergio you are welcome oh actually it's not for me it's for someone else <laughs> oh that's not fair what's the difference between them what's the difference between precinct area zone region or district well precinct normally is one area in a street or a, or a, a road so a precinct can be one area normally a stretch of road quite often used in american english um, area zone region they, they are all very similar in meaning i am going now unfortunately we have come to the hour the hour has arrived it is just after 11 o'clock so late if you want to catch this live stream again you can you can watch it all over again all over again <laughs> let me just get rid of these messages oh i'm getting so many annoying messages coming up on my screen mr duncan you are very energetic yes even at 11 o'clock at night i still have lots of energy thank you Diodon diodonna diodonna thank you very much for that mr duncan you are the best on youtube and secondly oh i see oh i have some competition do i oh i see i thought you just like me but apparently you like someone else as well i might get a little bit jealous i might we will miss you mr duncan look after yourself don't worry i will be here on sunday so on sunday everything is normal again whatever normal is see you on sunday 2 p.m uk time mr steve will be here we will be talking about mr steve's show his birthday we are also talking about the year of the dog because of course the chinese new year has arrived and also the lunar new year and in the chinese horoscope or zodiac it is the year of the dog so there is something we will discuss also we will find out we will find out what this picture is it's <laughs> so funny oh catch you later this is mr duncan in england saying thank you for watching me talking to you live on a wednesday night and of course until next time you know what's coming next oh by the way look can you see my arm i injured my arm the other night can you see maybe you can't see it look can you see my arm i burnt my arm <laughs> oh i burnt my arm the other night on the fireplace it was very painful mr duncan if you turn off i will knock on your door oh <gasps> I'm not sure if I like the sound of that. Yes, my neighbours do have dogs. They do. And they are quite lovely. Although I'm not a big fan of dogs, to be honest. I'm going now. See you later. And of course, have a good night. Have a good afternoon. Have a sweet dream if you are watching me in bed. And I will see you on Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time. This is Mr. Duncan for the last time saying thanks for watching me goodbye to you all and of course you know what's coming next yes you do yes you do ta-ta for now